Howdy folks. CDI boxes. They're on many, many things. ATVs, three-wheelers, dirt bikes, motorcycles. Several different things are on. This one here happens to be off a four-wheeler. Um, it stopped working. It was acting up. Just wanted to share a great tip. 80%, I'd say 75% of the time, all you have to do is turn your oven on at about 300 degrees Fahrenheit in around air, don't have to be exact and um, place this in your oven for about 10 minutes basically what you want to do is you want to get it extremely extremely hot to evaporate any moisture that may have got stuck inside see what happens is that when these are placed this particular one was placed on the four-wheeler this way so you have this hard case it's all sealed then you have this epoxy based substance that you know keeps everything intact well what happens when a person's driving if they're picking up moisture and whatnot and it's bouncing up there and electronic devices when they're working this is what this is electronic device they 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 got a little bit of heat there and they're drawing in moisture and when that moisture co goes inside through the extremely hairline cracks that this develops over age and you can't really see them then the moisture gets trapped in there and it cannot escape because the way this is set up it can't escape through here moisture needs to evaporate upwards so in this case it cannot do that and they don't place it this way because then it would be the opposite now when they're, they're driving down the trails and whatnot and through puddles and mud and whatever else the water comes and rests on top of there and it goes in and then it definitely can't escape so it's kind of a well it's just one of those things it's just one of those things there's not, not a whole lot you can do about it over time the seal here kind of lets go a little bit and it allows moisture to go in there and then what ends up happening is that the electronics with inside this they kind of malfunction which kind of make the bike not work and like I say about 75 percent of the time all it takes is a good heating up I mean a good heating up. You're not going to touch this. When you remove it from the oven, you're not going to be touching it. Even to this point right now, I can barely keep my fingers to it. It's that hot. And that's the idea, folks. You want to get it really hot. I'd say 10 minutes. There's no real time frame. Um, you know, nothing, nothing melts. Everything stays okay. All the little plastic connectors, they stay all okay. They get soft a little bit, so you don't want to squeeze them or anything. But um, you don't want to go overboard with it either. You know, eventually you will be melting things. So you don't want to do that. The idea is to get this part here extremely hot so any moisture that's within inside this can evaporate through the little cracks that developed over time. And then after that, you reseal, it, reseal the top of this. You can try it first before you go through the hassles of resealing it. You can put it back on your application, whatever it may be. Test it out, see if it works again. If it does, then reseal this so any future moisture cannot get back inside this. So basically what you're going to be doing is that the cracks that developed over time, you're basically going to seal them back up. And you never know, you may get another 10 years from the, from the CD box, CDI box. It's worth a try. This particular box is about uh, $250. So I mean, a little bit of effort. Have to remove it anyhow to change it. So 10 minutes in the oven, it's worth a try. Just a great tip folks, CDI box tip. Take care, hope you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you would.